In this video, I want to go over some free near replicant leaked content. Some free costumes and weapons will be coming to the game. We'll talk about that. Fallen Night for the PlayStation 4 has a release date. This was a game that originally launched through Apple Arcade. Looks pretty good. Something like a side-scrolling action title. Think you guys should have that on your radar. Talked about it a while back. But we'll give you guys a quick heads up on that. And Sony Group Corporation invests another $200 million in Epic Games. That's a pretty notable investment to say the least. So we'll talk that at the end of this video. But near replicant version 1.22474487139 free costumes and weapons DLC for Yorha has been revealed. A Microsoft store listing has leaked the existence of free near replicant version. You guys get the idea. Downloadable costumes and weapons set. So this has you enjoying four costumes and four weapons from Near Automata and Near Replicant. Due to the story of the game, this content may not be playable during some of the scenes. The full game is required to use the content, of course, and also if the latest patch needs to be applied, please update before use. You see the looks of that as well. So nice to get that as a bit of free content that will be coming, of course, April 23rd. And I feel like there's a healthy level of buzz to the game. Maybe I'm, I have a little bit of a misread on it. I don't think I do, though. I think there is quite a bit of buzz. And I think the game's going to end up selling pretty darn well. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to do as good as Nier Automata, as I've said before. But I do think it's going to sell a healthy number of units. And I also feel like this is going to be the kind of game that escalates in sales through a longer lifespan. Just because, um, you know, that $60 price tag, I do think it might be a little bit high to some people. Even if it was at like $50 or, you know, ideally $40, but that's just me being cheap. Uh, definitely a game I'm going to be checking out. And I know a couple of my buddies are super excited for the game. So, you know, anecdotally, I see quite a bit of buzz for the title. We'll see how it does. But some free DLC coming for that as well. Next up, we have Fallen Night for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and a PC coming on June 23rd. This one's very much got a Mega Man look going on. Um... As I mentioned at the top, it was released on Apple Arcade back in October of 2019, but now it will be coming to PlayStation 4. Probably a game that's going to go under the radar, especially coming up where April, May, June are kind of stacked as far as game releases go, so think this one's gonna fall through the cracks a little bit but maybe something to keep on your wish list and pick up sometime down the line and lastly i do want to mention that sony group corporation invests another 200 million dollars into epic games the new investment builds on the already close relationship between the two companies remember they had a timed exclusivity deal with godfall even though you know you can think what you want of godfall but definitely um something interesting is in the works here at least one would have to think, and I know Epic Games is making some moves. You have to talk about the Epic Game Store when you talk about them. There's rumblings of them potentially doing an Alan Wake 2 alongside Remedy. And remember, they had a healthy relationship with Control. They played a, paid a lot of money to get Control as a Epic Game Store timed exclusive. So you got to think they have a good relationship too. And Sony being in uh, business with Epic Games makes sense to me. It would be interesting to know what Sony's game plan is with their upcoming PC titles because they are putting Days Gone on PC. That's on Steam. Um, but it would be interesting if, man, could they go the route of Epic Games paying them a ton of money to get those PC releases as exclusives? That's another moving part to the entire relationship that you do have to consider, but we'll see how everything turns out. I mean, $200 million sounds like a ton in face value, and it is, but you have to remember Epic Games is valued at a very, very high price point. So in the grand scheme of things, it might not be the biggest thing in the world, but Sony and Epic definitely have a healthy relationship here. But that's gonna wrap up this one. Again, Near Replicant getting some free DLC, Fallen Night coming June 23rd, and Sony investing quite a bit into Epic Games. We'll see how that pans out for the future of their relationship. That's gonna wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.